Estate Finders, welcome back to Fortune Finds. I am so excited about today's video because Collab Makeup, which is sold exclusively at Sally's Beauty, sent me over a PR package. All of the products that I'm gonna be reviewing today were gifted to me, which is so exciting and so awesome. It's so exciting for me because I am such a small, I'm like a micro influencer. You know, I have 180 something subscribers, which I am so thankful for each and every one of you, but this is not a big channel. So anytime I get free makeup, I get so excited. It's like really a blessing and I appreciate it so, so much. So thank you so much to Collab Makeup and Sally's Beauty for sending over these awesome products. They actually, Collab sent me this little note in it, which I thought was super, super cute. We can't wait to see the looks you create. Hope you find some new faves, XOXO, the collab team. And look, it's like the collab logo on the back and it was handwritten, which I just think is so sweet. Like who took the time out of their day to write little old me this letter? Like it's so cute and it's so sweet. So that's why I'm really excited about this video. I have tested out collab makeup before. I will link a video of the first eyeshadow palette that I did on my channel. Such a big fan. It was like a very greeny look. I loved it. I still use that palette all the time. So yeah, they sent me over a ton of products. I have used most of them before, so this isn't totally a first impressions, but some of them I haven't used in the first time that I used them was today. So you get to see my raw first impressions and some of them are kind of funny. So we're gonna be going over their eyeshadow palettes, which again, I have used one of these before. They're so great. I mean, honestly, whichever one of these you pick up, they're bomb, I love them. Such pretty colors, they blend beautifully. Got this funky like top, duochrome top coat mascara so this kind of gives your mascara like an iridescent funky glitter over top i also got some matte lipsticks some matte spark lipsticks in these funky shades they're shimmery you'll see how that goes shortly some funky eyeliners that are metallic i'm clearly wearing this gold one eyebrow pencil we have blush we have mascara we have a lot so we have a lot to go through quick friendly reminder if you are not yet subscribed please be sure to do so and also click that bell button. I upload twice a week. Those days are kind of in flux though. Like I've been kind of crazy. Mike and I, our engagement party is in two weeks. Next weekend is Easter. Like it's just, it's just like, it was my birthday. It's just been like a lot going on lately. We're getting the short house ready for the summer. It's just a lot. So if you click the bell button, it takes all the guessing out of when I upload, but I am trying to upload twice a week. It's usually Mondays and Thursdays. I don't know though, we're gonna see how it goes. So yeah, we have a lot to get into. So without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to the collab makeup review video. I know that collab sent me three different eyeshadow palettes but I'm only going to be using one today and that is the eyeshadow palette called Tropic Like It's Hot. I wanted this to be a spring makeup tutorial. There are so many new spring collections coming out whether it's beauty or fashion and I just wanted to pay tribute to spring. To prime my lid, I'm just gonna use concealer today. I'm gonna be using the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer, and I am in the shade Light Natural. A couple dots on my lid. A dry beauty sponge, this is a Real Techniques beauty sponge, and I'm just gonna pat this all over. I like to use a concealer because it cancels out any of the veins or purple that I have on my eyelids just cancels everything out. This way it really makes the eyeshadow pop. So these don't have a name, but they do have numbers. You can see the numbers on the back and it gives you suggestions on how to use the shadows in two different eyeshadow looks. There is a wild and stormy look and an island vibe look, but we're just going for the fortune look today because this is what I came up with. Morphe M575 and I'm gonna grab this taupey, almost like pinky orange shade right here. I pack that on the brush and I'm not gonna tap off the excess. I am doing my eyes first today, but this shadow is super pigmented, but there's really like little to no fallout at all. I'm kind of just bringing this in and packing this on somewhat heavy. I really want this color to pop and I'm kind of like swooping it down. A different fluffy brush you can use the same fluffy brush it doesn't matter this is just a glamour dolls blending brush and i'm going to hop in to this pink shade right here it does have somewhat of a shimmer to it so if you're one of those people that doesn't like to put shimmer in the crease which a lot of people don't surprisingly and then i would not suggest using this shade but i like it i feel like shimmer in the crease gives like a very editorial vibe I just, I, there's something about it. I love it. I feel like a lot of people don't do it. It's kind of unique and it's really like been my vibe lately. And I'm kind of just like pushing it down, just like blending it everywhere. I'm going to grab this orange shade right here. 
And I'm going to take that on a smaller blending brush, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH40. And I'm just going to focus this on the outer third of the eye. And I'm just like pushing it in towards the lid as I usually do. I'm kind of keeping it lower than the crease and just like, just like pushing, pushing, pushing. These practically like blend themselves. And the fact that they're so cheap is like crazy. I love Kleb makeup it's amazing it's like the best affordable makeup i've used in a really long time i'm so thankful that they sent me this box of goodies like oh how amazing i was so excited when i got it and that is just like the prettiest bronziest beachy spring orange i love it it's so pretty now i'm going to go in with a little flat brush this is a jh42 and i'm going to grab that red shade right here I'm gonna keep that to like the very outer corner of the eye and kind of doing the same motion like flicking it in towards the center of the eye see how like every color just blends so beautifully but each color stands out it doesn't get lost in the other colors I'm gonna go into the best shade of the palette. Like literally, I would buy this palette just for this shade. So this is the prettiest, I don't even know if you can see it on camera, but it's like an iridescent minty green. I will swatch all of these for you guys. I know, I'm like the worst swatcher. Half the time I forget to swatch the shades for you guys, but I will remember. So I'm just taking that on my index finger and I'm gonna, where's this my ring finger? I always mess up my fingers and I'm just gonna tap that on the inner portion of the eye that has no shadow on it yet. Pencil brush, this is a JH39 and I'm gonna grab this shimmery brown shade on the end, keeping this right on the edge of the eye and I'm just tapping it, just tap it and pushing it towards the center of the eye again. The gradient of this eyeshadow is so pretty. This is the scariest part of this entire tutorial is this eyeliner. Now, I have used this eyeliner before. I do really enjoy the colors. I think they're so beautiful. I love how trendy they are. Neon colors are definitely on trend for the spring. This is the Collab Line and Shine metalized liquid eyeliner. And this is in the shade Goldmine. So I'm just gonna shake it. The thing with this is that this wand is very thin, which is good, but it's also very long. So it is kind of like flimsy. It's a little hard to work with. So you just want to take your time and you want to go slow. So I like to start in the middle. And I'm kind of just following the contour of my eye. Is with this liner it kind of like the wand doesn't pick up enough and you don't want too much because like I said the wand is hard to control but it you have to keep dipping back in because you know it's not it doesn't pick up enough product you do need to go over it to really get that metallic punch but the thing is, is that sometimes when you go over it it kind of takes away the liner that was already there so it can be a little bit patchy these dry down a little crunchy and like i can feel my liner on this eye so again not the best formula i love the idea i really do love the shade but this is really difficult to work with and once it does dry it's not like super uncomfortable but i can feel my eyeliner and i can't remember the last time i used a liquid liner and could still feel it. Collab Shape and Shade Brow Pencil, and this is in the shade Auburn. Now, I love the spoolie. I love that it has a spoolie on one side and the wand on the other. You need a spoolie when you're doing your brows. Just, you know, I just, you do. This has like the triangular crayon, so it kind of reminds me of like the Anastasia Brow is the newer one that they came out with. So I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows up. I find that when I'm doing my eyebrows, they look more natural when either the top or the bottom is more defined, when they're both very defined. It kind of like, it doesn't, they don't look as natural. So I like to go with a stronger underbrow. This is a super pigmented crayon. If you are more inexperienced with brows, this isn't as forgiving. The Anastasia Brow is, it's kind of like you have to press hard to get pigment where this one, it's literally like a crayon. Like you tap and there's pigment. But if you are a girl or a guy who knows how to do your brows and you are in a rush, like this will get it done in a flash, which I love. So for the top, I'm just gonna brush the brows down so I can see the natural curvature of my brow. 
And then the front, I just like to flick it up. And the tip of the triangle is towards my nose. So that's how I feel in the front. And then I'll just brush it through to see what it looks like, see if I have any spots that I need to be filled in. And then I like to take my finger and just like run it over my brows. Go back and forth between the spoolie and my finger just to like blend the product in and make them look a little bit more natural. So I'm gonna hop into my BH Studio Pro palette. I did an entire tutorial on this palette. If you miss it, I will link it up here so you guys can check it out. But I'm gonna grab this white here and I'm gonna grab that on a pencil brush. Put that right under the brow. And I'm just keeping it under the tail. And then I'm gonna put my finger over it and just blend it out. I'm gonna hop off camera, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then we'll meet back here, finish off the eye and then we'll move on to some more collab beauty products. So give me one second and I'll be right back. Soft Spot Sheer Blush in the shade Just For Fun and it is the prettiest light wash of pink. Cool tones kind of look better on my skin which is like a new revelation that I just discovered. Wish I would have discovered it a little bit earlier. A Morphe E4 brush and I'm just gonna dust this lightly on the cheeks. Now, if you are interested in anything else that I'm wearing on my face that I did not show you in this video, I do always link that down below. So you can go ahead and check that out there. And I have kind of been like setting my whole face with blush, which I think you probably are like fortune. You are really crazy, but I'm going to show you exactly what I've been doing. So I'll just take like a dot, tap off the excess, and I'll just do like a light wash, like all over my face, just like this and kind of like contour with it. I feel like it gives my overall complexion a much better look and then I'll just take the excess and run it down the nose and voila. So I'm gonna hop back into the palette. I'm gonna grab that first shade that we grabbed to, and put in our crease, M575 Blending Brush. Line that underneath entire waterline. I'm just bringing it in and buffing it out. JH42, I'm gonna take that green and I'm just gonna keep it right before the inner corner. So like right here. Morphe M431 and I'm gonna grab the lightest shade in the palette right here and I'm just gonna use this to highlight the inner corner of the eye. I'm just packing that on there because this isn't really like super like the kind of inner corner highlight I would use. I like something more of a pop so I'm actually gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hop back into my highlighter, the Anastasia M Resi, and grab that and pop it. Yeah, that's so much better. Now I'm gonna use the best mascara that I've ever used in my entire life, which I think I dropped it. The Works Wow Effect All-in-One Mascara, and this is just in the shade black. And I love this mascara. If you like long, like spidery lashes, which I love, so they're kind of like long and like wispy, but also like kind of like clumpy. See how like spidery that is? Okay, now I'm gonna go on the lower lash line using this L'Oreal Telescopic, sorry collab. I, I will use you on the bottom as soon as uh, I use you up a little bit. I'm a little scared for this next step, but I feel like it's super necessary because collab sent me this super interesting product and it is So Extra Duochrome Top Coat Mascara. And I'm, it's like an iridescent mascara. It says top coat, so that leads me to believe I'm supposed to apply it on top of my mascara. And I'm just going to use this on the bottom lash line. I don't even think you can see what that just did, but it kind of just left this pretty, very subtle, iridescent pink glitter to the lower lash line. But it's like so subtle, you can only see it when it hits the light a certain way. Okay, so for the lips today, I really do want to try these Colab Matte Spark Cream Lip Colors. I have not tried these yet. Colab sent me a ton of lip products, and I only have one set of lips, so I haven't gotten around to all of them. I super appreciate it, though. I love a good lipstick. Any kind of lip product is my kind of product. About last night, I think this was really good with the eye shadow, and then this is the shade New Flame. It looks like it's going to be like a squeezy tube, but it's not. It has a wand, so deceiving, but a good kind of deceiving. 
Oh wow, those are super freaking pigmented. Okay, I don't love this shade on me. This is not like a me shade, but we're just gonna have fun with it. And if we don't like it, we'll take it off and we'll try something new. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna pop into the shade about last night. I'm gonna put this in the center of the lips. Are these all sparkly? I feel like these are all sparkly. I probably should have swatched these first. Too much. What do you guys think? I don't love this on me. Maybe use the About the Pout. I have not tried this color, but I did try the Birthday Sue color, which where is that one? I don't know. I think I left it at work. I've been wearing it nonstop at the office. It's like the prettiest nude. It's like very subtle, like a pretty iridescent gloss. So this is in the shade Make a Moth. Love that. Oh my God, it's like a pretty like bubble gum and I do love this formula it's so nice and then I also have this red one which I don't think I'm gonna wear the red today but let's look see what it looks like oh it's like not even pigmented like at all it kind of just has like red sheen <gasps> that's so pretty can you see that <gasps> oh I love this <gasps> I think we need to put the red on okay let's take this off I'm sorry Matt Sparks it's just I don't like the way it feels either, and it's too sparkly for me. I don't love a metallic lip on myself. Others, yes. Me, no. This is the About the Pout Tinted Lip Balm, and this is in the shade Red Carpet Treatment. I love this formula. It's super hydrating, and I love how it's like so pointed, so you can really line the lips, although it's really not necessary because it is just like a tinted. Oh my God, it's so juicy though. I love a juicy lip. That is definitely more my vibe. Okay, and I know that we just did the lips and y'all thought we were done. I thought I was done too, but then I just realized that Collab sent me this eyeliner and it's super pretty and I wanna try it. This is the Collab Killer Coal Self Sharpening Eye Pencil in the shade Rebel. And it is like this really pretty green color. So I'm just gonna line my waterline with this. And I'm gonna bring it to the inner corner. I feel like that just totally tied this entire look together. Big fan of this. I am curious to see how long this stays on the waterline, but I will report back and I will leave some notes in the description box below to let you guys know if it stayed on, but I'm a big fan of this. So that is it. I promise this time I'm going to zoom you guys out and we will go ahead and just go over anything that I think needs to be said that maybe hasn't been said yet. And yeah, so yeah, let's do that right now. What? do we think i think this is so fun i love how colorful this is this is definitely not something that i would typically create i'm usually like your standard like basic bitch like smoky eye or like one color blown out but this is fun i think that the gold liner really does give it a fun flare definitely not something that i would ever wear because i've never owned metallic liquid liner in my life but let's just run through the products i do just want to give a big shout out to the products that i loved which i have to say it was definitely most of them these eyeshadows you cannot go wrong with these eyeshadows no matter which one you pick up i love them so much. I have yet to use this one, but I didn't want to use the blue because I feel like Jeffree Star just came out with his new blue bud palette and everyone's doing blue eyeshadow. So I want to do something different. Out of these two, I have to say, I really do like the one that I used today, but I love the first one that I ever bought myself. This is the After Hours palette. I really do love these palettes. Oh my God. They're so nice. Like I said, I have really been wearing the birthday suit one. It's this beautiful, like nude, very, very nude, almost like a Kim Kardashian nude. Love it so much. I love that they're pointed so you can really get in there and line the lips. And these don't travel too much so you don't have to worry about putting it on and then getting that ring of gloss around your mouth. They don't move around so you don't need to worry about that. Super hydrating, feel really nice. This is like the fifth time that I've used this mascara and this is better than my L'Oreal Telescopic. So claps to you collab. This mascara is bomb. I can't wait until I go through it a little bit though just cause you know, like any new mascara it kind of gets all over. But I'm a big fan of that. Also love the blush, so pretty. It's like the perfect like nudie, not really there blush. Super big fan of this. Oh my God, the spoolie is great. The shade isn't so great for me, but like I said, if you are someone that is experienced in putting on a brow, you're gonna be done with your brows in one, two, three, done. This is great, super pigmented, super easy to apply and just kind of glides on. I'm gonna go out and get my correct shade and I feel like I'm gonna use this one nonstop. Getting on to things that I didn't really love, it's not that much, but there are a couple things that I just wanna know. Duochrome top coat mascara looked pretty. 
now that it's drying, it kind of looks like I have concealer on my lashes. Like it kind of looks like I put mascara on and then went in with my concealer. It kind of just makes me look like I'm not totally like done. Like I kind of like half-assed my makeup look. So I'm not a fan of that. I am curious to see how this would look like with just this on my lashes. So maybe on a day where I'm wearing minimal makeup, I'll try that and I'll let you guys know. But so far, I'm really not into this. These matte sparks, like no, I just, I don't, it's preference. I don't like metallic lipsticks and the texture it's supposed to be matte but it didn't really dry down it was like sticky but it was like also feels like somewhat hydrating i don't know i just wasn't a fan of these i really wish that these metallic eyeliners were a little bit better like i said kind of like dry down hard and crusty i can still feel them on my eyes it's kind of like when you wash your face and it feels tight like it feels like tight and dry i can feel it on my eyes it's just not comfortable and i have used all three of these before this white one like barely shows up these two definitely perform much better the purple ones okay i think the gold one is the best i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below leave me some love in the comments what do you think about this makeup look where are you going to go out and buy any of the collab products do you own any collab products also be sure to click the bell button this way you get a notification whenever it is i am uploading a video and if you are not yet subscribed please be sure to do so i would love for you to become a part of my little fortune finds family we have a lot of fun here i love doing review videos and i love doing brand videos like I love collab beauty this is so exciting I had a great time as always thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one bye finders Mwah.